Hi, I'm Nell Sanders, and this is Tell It Like It Is, where all things controversial are covered. This week I'm looking into the Trump administration's take on climate change and environmental policies. Since the beginning of the 2016 presidential race, Donald Trump has been against the prevention of climate change. He has kept his promise since his election. Since his first day in office, Trump has worked towards dismantling the Obama administration's climate action plan. He has renewed the controversial Keystone XL pipeline project and the much contested Dakota Access pipeline. He has also said that the U.S. will be pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement, which heavily depends on U.S. support to survive. Additionally, Trump is pushing to bring back coal mining to increase jobs. He revoked the Obama administration's stream protection rule, which was a regulation to protect waterways from coal mining waste. This week, President Donald Trump dramatically shifted the United States' approach to climate change and environmental conservation. On Tuesday, Trump signed an executive order that curbs our federal government's enforcement of climate regulations by putting American jobs above addressing climate change. Many individuals are worried about the impact of Trump's policies on the environment and what role the U.S. will play in reducing climate change in the future. I got a chance to talk with Dan Moylan and some NHS students to hear their take on the impact of these policies. And I think it's important for every student to learn about environmental science because it's all about how humans impact the environment. And I think it's important to know how your actions and your thoughts uh, and your lifestyle impact the other people around you. You know, we have a great impact on the environment that we live in uh, just based on our American lifestyle. And I think it's important for everyone just to know what the impact is. It's up to, it's up to you after that if you want to decide how to change your lifestyle, but it's important to know that. I think. The Trump administration has um, a pretty clear stance on environmental issues, which is that they're not prioritizing it. Uh, the Trump administration is prioritizing jobs, which has a direct correlation to the environment. But I think that the direct implications for our environment are going to be that we're going to see some short-term spikes in CO2 emissions per person in the United States. And that is mainly going to be due towards um, energy manufacturing. Trump's big thing right now is um, he's saying it's okay to just make electricity and you don't need to worry about how you make it. You don't need to worry about the environmental impact. And so if you want to use coal, you can use coal, uh, even though that is the main contributor to CO2 emissions in the United States. I think there certainly are quite a few major issues facing the environment, but I do think that two of the most important that we need to tackle now are climate change and deforestation. If you deny it, long enough, like it, it's going to become irreversible and it's going to get to the point where uh, all life on the planet is probably going to be non-existent. I think the Trump administration is not doing a good job recognizing the environmental issues. He's not even recognizing the issues at all. He's taken steps to defund parts of NASA that have studied climate change and that is just proving the point that he just doesn't care enough or doesn't care at all or even believe in it. Being educated on our impact on our global environment is tremendously important in this modern day. One way to raise awareness about climate change is to make environmental science a mandatory class in American public schools. Everyone, whether or not you've studied the environment in school, can make eco-friendly changes in their home and local community. You just have to be willing. Again, I'm Nell Sanders, and this was Tell It Like It Is.